how do you get noticed by brands? Better still, how do you get brands to reach out to you for paid partnerships as an influencer or a content creator? In this video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide that is going to get you brand attention this year. This is from my experience as an influencer manager, having hired hundreds of influencers and content creators. These tips are going to help you get the attention you need from the brand. Now, if you're new here, I am the social insider. I talk about content creators, content influencers, brand campaigns, brands, industry news, that whole universe. If you enjoy that kind of content, please consider subscribing now. Let's get started. One of the ways creators and influencers are making money in Kenya is through paid partnerships from brands. It's a great source of income. Let's be honest, the checks are usually not too bad. I mean, people have been able to buy vehicles and buy homes. So the money from brands is amazing. The other thing that brand partnerships do for you is that they elevate your brand. People take you more seriously, you know, and also other brands get to see you working with this brand. So it also opens up more opportunities for you to work with more brands. And of course, it gives you credibility as an influencer, credibility from your audience, from you know, the brands, you just look and appear more professional when you work with brands. So if you have not worked with a brand or are looking to work with more brands in 2024, this video is for you. I want to show you how you can get in their eyes so that they can reach out to you and you start working together and get the good money. So where do you start when it comes to getting attention from brands? Now, number one thing you're going to do is write down a list of all the brands you would like to work with. And I mean all of them, okay? We're not going to wish, we're not going to be on social media just admiring people working with brands and saying, oh, I wish, I wish, uh-uh. This year we are getting intentional. So write down a list of all the brands you would like to work with. Why are we writing this list? First is being intentional and also having a target, okay? You need that list so that you know who am I actually targeting, you know? Number two, this list is going to help you because the approach you're going to use for some brands is going to be different from others. Brands are not the same, okay? Some brands differ by category, meaning one brand is um, a beverage brand, another one is, another, is, is a beauty brand, another one is probably a food brand, so they all differ. So the approach you're going to use for each of these brands is going to differ in some way because some other brands are niche brands meaning that maybe they're more premium more expensive others are mass market brands if i'm to use an example something like maybe nice and lovely and l'oreal you know they are very different in terms of their market their target market is very different so how are you going to create a your tail how are you going to tailor content for nice and lovely and l'oreal might not be the same so Step number one, write down this list. Number two thing you're going to do after writing down this list is conduct research. Do your research. Guys, this is like applying for a job. Just like you have to research the company so that you know how to tailor your application to the company so that you know you stand out. Is the same thing in content creation. It's a job. Okay, you're trying to get the attention of a a company so you need to do your research on this brand in this step i suggest opening up like a word document or a canva a workbook and i'm going to show you how you, you guys can do that in another video but a word document should be okay just search google word open up a word document for each of these brands so say you have a jumia one you have a coca-cola one you have etctc in this document, you're going to write down all the things that stand out to you about this brand. Could be their values, okay? Maybe it's an, an alcoholic drink and maybe their history has to do with health, you know? Take, write down all the things you admire or things that stand out to you about this brand. Maybe they have distinct colors like Coca-Cola, the red color, the black and white. Maybe they have a range of products. Um, they have like Nivea day and night, you know, they have a uh, moisturizer, sunscreen, you know, all the ranges of products this brand carries are things like their goals. You know, what are they looking to do with their brand? Maybe they want to make women feel beautiful or maybe they want to, um, I don't know, whatever it could be that you will find about this brand that stands out to you, note it down. Even the pricing of the product, you know, research research on this brand entirely to its entirety you're also going to put links to 
um, maybe like videos you've seen them create in the past, um, influencers they are working with, like go seriously deep into understanding what this brand is about, who they are, what they stand for, if they have any new campaigns, what are they currently working on, you know, what are what are what have they introduced? Maybe it's like the Fanta, um, guess the flavor, we still don't know what flavor it is. That's a new campaign, you know. Identify all these things, note them down. Step number three, you're going to come up with a content idea. Okay, guys, we're not wishing this year, we're not wishing that so and so is gonna discover you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We are doing the work. So one of the best ways I see and have found is that when you create content with a brand in mind, it's easier to be discovered. It's easier to be seen by the brand as compared to sending them an email, a proposal. Why? People just don't know how to write proposals. So the brand managers, the influencer managers, most of the time they're just looking at those emails and just passing them because it's generic it's the generic stuff people saying hi i've used this example before hi i'm so and so i have forty thousand followers i'd like to work with you that is the standard template most people use when sending proposals so to avoid being caught up in that hole being ignored do the work publicly okay reach out to them reach out to them publicly how do you do this? So come up with a content idea and integrate the brand's product in your content. As simple as that. You're doing it publicly, people will see, the brand will see. It's a win-win. So they have a choice to make, you know? It's not like an email where they are thinking twice. They might not even open it or they might look at it, not even look at your profile. Online, on social media, once you do this content, they have a chance to even look at your profile, see how many followers you have and make a decision. So, when it comes to this content, you will tag them, okay? Just Ivy likes to, call, likes to call it blind tagging. Yeah, so blind tag the brand. Now, when it comes to this content you're going to create, there are two ways to go about it. Two very different ways. You can either go the quality route or the quantity route. What does this mean? Let's start with the quantity route. Quantity means you're going to become an ambassador of this brand like from january to december you're singing coca-cola okay you're singing nivea you're singing maybelline the whole year and i've seen this work with a, a lot of influencers actually where you talk about a brand so much that people start to associate with you with that brand they will start calling you the coca-cola girl you know like you're always talking about coca-cola and the beauty about that is is that people end up associating with the brand and sometimes i even see even in comments people tagging the brand and saying please hire this person like this person is a diehard of your product you know so it's amazing because um you become like an ambassador and the brand can see that that you're loyal now i have to say this when it comes to this kind of approach you have to be very careful you don't just talk about a brand for the sake of you're trying to get a check from them you know let it be a brand you actually believe in because people are smart. They will sniff you through that content. They can tell you're just trying to be discovered, okay? So make sure it's a product you actually use and enjoy. I'll give an example of someone like Maggie Mwende. If you don't know Maggie Mwende, she's a cleaning and motivational lifestyle creator here on YouTube. And Maggie talked about a brand called Astonish so much that she ended up working with Astonish and another one called Elastept, you know? She used to talk about them so much genuinely. Like she actually uses these products when she's cleaning. In every video, there was a mention of Elastept. And we see it, you know, she, she vouched for this product so much. And when she, you know, got to a, a sizable number, when, you know, brands were able to discover her, brands ended up giving, giving her jobs, you know, just by virtue of mentioning them constantly people i believe she's one of the few people who introduced astonish in the market to the masses without astonish doing their own marketing i personally learned about astonish through maggie Mwende. so anyway that's a good example of how talking about a product many times and being known for it can make you discoverable to brands now you can either go that route or go the quality route which is my favorite <laughs> okay 
this is my favorite way easy way of being discovered what does quality root mean when it comes to quality you're going to create a concept an idea your idea has to stop us in our tracks like we have to stop what we are doing and be like whoa 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 who is this what is this now a good example of content like this is the likes of Temina, the likes of uh, Kerry Wahu, the content they do, or Kimanzi. This is very, very scripted content that is telling a story about the product that is unique, that is creative. Maybe there were props used, a location, a videographer. Maybe you'd need to get a videographer. So the idea here is to be so creative that your work stands out and people end up sharing it because it's so good. And I like social media today because people don't ignore good work. If something is good, people will share it. You know, they just want to share it. It's too good to be ignored. So you can decide to go this approach because brands will see you and will be like, wow, where has this person been? Who is this? Like, we need this person in our team. The work needs to be so good that a brand can pay for it you know can actually sit and say you know what we we are going to pay you for the video you did without even telling us you know or they can even put it as an ad you know so in this approach what we're going to do is remember the research we have done about the brand pick an element about a product say it's this phone for example maybe you like the battery you know pick something pick an element about the product and tell a story around it and when it comes to storytelling you can be as creative as you can comedians do it so well you know tell a story it could be a mother there in the village who whose phone has fallen in the toilet or what or in water like you have to really really think of a story that is compelling that is interesting that is going to make people talk you know and you know appreciate so those are the two ways when it comes to content you can either go the quality route which is a bit more you know time consuming probably some money might be, be involved or the quantity route where you become a diehard of the brand and in all this remember guys we are tagging tag 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 the brand tag them tag them until they they have to notice you now as a bonus tip and my point number five once you have this content you know, you've shot it, you've posted it, it's all over on the internet. People know you, they're hearing you talk about brand X a lot, or you've put out something amazing. You're going to give it a, like a month, okay? You're going to wait it out. Once you wait it out, you will gather insights, say for a month. Gather the insights, the analytics, say the views, the shares, the comments, any sentiments you received maybe in the DMs, um, collect all that data now this data is what you use to send a proposal do we see how you write proposals <laughs> this is how you write a proposal to a brand share data data is king in this day and age a brand needs to see okay this is a proposal this person is saying they talked about my product these were the links these were the views these were the comments you know, this is what people said. Maybe even screenshot things like maybe someone in the DMs came and told you, oh, I actually bought this product and I love it, you know? Now, you're going to compile all this data you have collected, say, over a period of a month. You can do it longer and put it probably in a presentation, like a Canva presentation. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this in another video. But make it visually presentable you know put the video there canva is amazing you can put the actual video there and the brand can watch it put the views it got arrange it nicely you know then send them as an email and tell them hey this is what i did you know i am a lover of your brand i'm a user of say nivea lotion cocoa butter i love it i decided to create content around it and share it with my audience and these were the results i'm reaching out to find out if there's a possibility for us to work together because I'm confident that working together, you know, your brand could benefit from my audience. My brand loved this video. This is what they did. Then probably you can go into what you plan to do next. You know, you could say, I'm also currently trying out the day and night cream. It's working well so far. I plan to do this X, you know, I plan to integrate it in my, uh, like February is coming up. God willing. 
a valentine's so you can say i plan to integrate it in like a, a valentine's get ready with me probably we can partner during that time you know let me know like at least there yeah, you're giving information i think the problem i find with most proposals is they just lack information that can help the brand like for me as a brand i don't see how you're helping me people will send you proposals of just brands they have worked with that doesn't help the brand you know so what if you worked with mastercard or whoever it is it needs to be about the brand what have you done for me or what can you do for me and i always like to say most brands are in the business of making sales most of the time it's not an awareness even though it's an awareness campaign it's so that they can get sales so always have that in mind so if you can show how people bought the product because of you they tagged you you know things like those a brand will, will want to listen so those are my five step by step that's my five step by step process of getting discovered by brands it's not your usual way but let me add i was on a panel with um a representative from wowzy if you don't know wowzy they are like a middleman between brands and influencers so they get work from in from brands and then they are able to get influences for these brands so yeah they're in the middle anyway so this guy manages the coca-cola account what that means is that the coca-cola partnership that wowzy has is the one who's responsible for the budget getting the influencers and so on and so forth and on this panel we were on he said that for him he has influencers who are brand friendly what that means is your feed looks like it's friendly to brands in that you mention products maybe you have a picture with a coke or a tasker or you know a nivea lotion you know it's not just your everyday life things so you're very brand appealing someone can see okay if i gave this person a product this is how it would sort of look like so keep that in mind don't be afraid to buy products with your money don't listen to people telling you oh don't buy no buy actually buy create content it will be public the brand cannot ignore you it will be out there if it's good they will see it and don't forget the brands are you and i like for me i i, I represent a few brands so it's people like me who are on the internet looking you know we'll see we're like oh okay i need to reach out to this chick she's done a good job on this guy so yeah let me know if this was helpful and if you have any questions please leave them down below remember to subscribe i'll be seeing you guys in the next video i will be posting on mondays and wednesdays so there is that until the next one bye